false answer number two. Sa. Sachi. What are you talking about? You know that place down in Russia where they're doing the Winter Olympics? You mean Sochi? Nah, I guess that's it. You know, they're, they're doing some speed skating down there. I was thinking we could go out there on a circular track in the yard, push some lawnmowers around. Didn't you lose last time? Nah, you don't know what you're talking about. I win every time. So, uh, and what makes you think you're going to win this time? Well, I've been studying up on my centripetal forces. It's going to take me to the top. Mm-hmm. All right. Man, this is the dumbest idea. We should be doing our physics homework. Like, I mean, I guess I could be the ref, but I doubt these guys even know the physics behind it. My lawnmower out there, it's got the highest velocity. I'll take the outside lane, I'll give them the inside. With the extra velocity, I should compensate for the extra radius. I just know it. You see, I'm out here, I'm out here measuring the radius of the course, trying to get the quickest lane. See, so I know that with the smallest radius, it'll give me the biggest centripetal force and let me win this race. So right here we got the first lane, you know, pretty good, it's pretty decent, I think I'm going to take this one, out here, eh, I think we're going to get the side of this lane, no way out here, mm -mm. this is Jay, she's got the biggest velocity, man we got to give him the longest radius, alright well, I think I got this one secure. Well these boys out here, they think they're going to take me in a lawnmower race, they don't have their reference pack ready, I've check, checked my reference pack. I see the equation centripetal force equals mass times velocity squared over radius. I've done my me measurements and everything. I'm ready. I'm going to take home the win. I'm about to show you the one lawnmower right here. This ride along, it'll output the extra velocity I need to cover the extra distance I'm getting from that longer radius because those boys decide to give me the outer lane. Now let's hear this kitty purr. What oh, in the world? So it worked. And I knew that thing was a piece of junk. This is the victory push mower right here. Oh, really? Yeah, you see, back in Nam, I used to mow over those rice paddies with this sucker. This thing's gonna take me to the finish line. Sai, you don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> My darn lawn mower broke down. I knew that thing should have worked. Extra velocity it could put out. I could cover the extra distance, no problem. This thing's a piece of junk. Now I can't even race. Who knows who's gonna win now? Well, you see, I've been doing the math here, trying to make sure I get the win. And, well, if you use the equation FC equals MV squared over R, we got our mass to be uh, about 100 pounds in American terms, and we got to turn that into grams. And when you do that, you got to carry the one, you get 37,320 grams. Now, we plug that into our equation as M, and then we find the velocity. Now, I'm a fast guy, so I think I'm uh, going about five, 5 miles per hour. So... If we convert that to meters per second, you get about, let's see here, 2.235. Then, of course, in the equation, you got to square that. And then you put that all over the RR, which is, as we measured outside, 7 meters. So we convert that, plug into our calculator here, and we get a handy dandy 226,631. Mm -mm. I'm thinking about sig figs here, boys. We got to do our scientific notation and get 2.663 times 10 to the 4th newtons, and that is our centripetal force. Thank you. I think I'll get the win. Hey, Jack. Look here. I've been waiting on this lawnmower race all week. We got that circular track ready. I got my push mower ready. I've been studying enough on them centripetal forces. It's going to give me the W. It's on like bing bong, Jack. Two lawnmowers. One lap. You boys ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're ready. On your marks, get set, go! What's happening here? I've been practicing all week. I mean, we're traveling at the same velocity, and he's still beating me. This T just isn't pulling me through. It is apparent that Psi has not taken the linear velocity into account. A while back, the boys and I had a race, and Psi actually managed to pull it off by a hair. Has he forgotten that linear velocity is 2 pi r radius divided by t 
a period? I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure there ain't no radius in a straight line. Size si gonna lose, no doubt. Oh, it looks like Jep took this one. Uncle Si, what happened? I don't know, man. I had the middle lane. I guess the inside lane, you know, gave him a little bit of an advantage, smaller radius. Yeah, it looks like your notes were off. a little looks like your notes were a little off, boy. You need to go check those. Hey, why didn't I win? I did all the math, had all the right equations. I'd like to see what Jep did with his work. Man, Jep sure hammered down on Uncle Si today. Whew. See, I knew Si wouldn't know anything about physics or any of the equations to actually do the work. And guess what? I made sure Si didn't get one of these. While we had all the equations to work with, Si had no clue what he was doing. But he thought he did because he's Uncle Si. He's a crazy lunatic. I think Nam really did something to his head. But you see, I just won the race out there. And so I think Si is pretty mad about it. But you see, if he had his handy dandy reference pack out here, he could see that FC equals M times V squared over R. Now, I had a smaller R, which is the radius, so because I was closer to the center, which means that we, since we had the same mass, we also had the same velocity. So M and V, which are mass and velocity, are the same. So since I had the smaller radius, which is on the bottom, it's divided by a smaller number, which gives me the greater centripetal force. Now, there's also AC equals V squared over R, which is centripetal acceleration. Now, as I said, we were going at the same velocity. And so, the R in this equation is also on the bottom. And so, since we were going at the same velocity and the smaller R on the bottom, that gives me a greater acceleration, which gives me the win. Now, Jeff, why in the world did you just win that race out there? Well, you see, si, since we, when we were outside, we were going at the same velocity, see? But I had a smaller radius, which means I was closer to the center. And so since I, was, since I had a smaller radius, the smaller radius was on the bottom of the formula, so you were dividing by a smaller number, See, which means the centripetal force was greater. Which also shows you that as you get closer to the center of the circle, the radius is going to be smaller and you're going to have a greater centripetal force. It's right here on your reference pack side. Wow. If I had used this formula, I bet I would have won. I usually win in everything. Yeah, well, you see, there's also the centripetal acceleration, which shows you that AC equals V squared over R. And since I also had a smaller radius, that also gives me a greater centripetal acceleration, which is ex which is what excelled me to the victory. You know what, man? This is crap. They didn't give me one of these. I gotta go fill up my tea glass.